Hello guys, welcome to another video of Tony Show Me. So in this video you're gonna see how I train to improve my acceleration and deceleration while playing soccer. So as you guys can see I have four cones. The first one is in the starting line and then second, third and four are five meters away from each other to make a line of total 15 meters. So the first drill is gonna be going around the cone, five sets with the left side and five sets with the right side without the ball. So the main goal of this drill is to improve your ability to accelerate and decelerate while playing soccer with or without the ball. As you guys can see I'm going to start here right now running to the first cone and then I'm going to lower my body a little bit bending my knees to go as close to the cone as possible while changing my direction. As you guys can see I decelerate and then try to reach my maximum speed again and then reaching the next cone as well. Uh, here this drill is exactly the same but now to the right side it's really important to mention that you have to go as maximum speed as you can guys um, if not this drill is not gonna work right maybe sometimes I, I might look uh, that I'm going slow uh, I wanna mention I'm wearing a, a weight vest it's about 10-15 pounds um, but it's really important to go as max as fast as you can so that when you are actually playing your mind and your body is already used to go immediately change the speed and go as fast as you can as well now this drill is exactly the same now but we're controlling the soccer ball It's more soccer oriented now um, as you guys can see I try to keep the ball as close to the cone as possible this is gonna improve of course my drilling dribbling ability and then at the end I just like to do some kind of dribbling imagine imagining the last cone is the defense and we're gonna do five sets with the left foot and five sets with the right foot. So this is the change of foot. As you guys can see, I'm trying to keep the ball as close to the cone as I can. And then trying to explode when I'm coming back to maximum speed and then try to, to dribble a little bit. And then at the end I just like to do some kind of crazy stuff with the ball like some tricks, some juggling to uh, cool down but still touching the ball, getting as many touches to the ball as I can. And then of course it's important to finish with a good stretch, stretching uh, session, maybe 5 minutes, just to, to recover faster and better for your next training session, your, your next game. Um, and that's basically it guys, so if you like this video, if you want to see more content of this, please uh, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and I'll see you on the next time.